Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be showing you how to get to the end of the Story Machine Utopia on Titan. While you can always just wait for the mission to show up on the weekly meditations, it turns out you can get there with a bit of good old Guardian Ingenuity. For this guide, you'll need a Titan equipped for sword fly. Look below for a helpful link on what you need for that. Continue into the solarium until you come across a bright hole in the wall. This is where we'll be getting out of the map, but first we need to trigger the loading zone for the festering halls. Return to the opening and look for the tree branch growing inside. From the branch, if you look up, you'll see a beam with an overhang above it. With a well-placed jump, you can make it to the top of that platform. Once you make it to the top, duck underneath the beam and look up to your right. You should see a gap in the ceiling. Finagle your way through there and you'll be on the top of the map. You may see a countdown timer to your imminent death, but push through to your freedom. Head over to the large towers to your left side. Now, you may think, oh, hey, that's a nice little shortcut there. Nope. From here on out, it starts to get tricky. Jump around the outside of the first two towers. This is similar to what you would be doing if you were doing the level normally, and there are many kill barriers to watch out for. For the third tower, go to the end of the narrow platform and just drop down. But unfortunately there's not long to go before you hit your next invisible wall. Don't be fooled by the apparent short jump across the next platform. It's invisible and will result in a quick death. Instead, you will start to rely heavily on sword flying. Make sure you have catapult lift selected. Luckily for us, the invisible wall does not extend downwards. So make your way across to the next platform with a bit of sword flying. I found that you can do it in about two swings, which will help you conserve ammo for the later sections. Ignore the siren calls of the pipes below. We'll get there soon enough. Take note of where the pipes join the large structure that we're on. We'll want to jump down to that part. As you do, the pipes will flicker in and out, but don't worry, they're still there to stand on. You can take the shortcut to the right if you don't mind arriving at your destination a little bit dead. However, that can be useful if you're with a partner and having difficulties getting through the next area. Continue along the pipe until you run into another invisible wall. You'll want to drop down to the left and sword fly over to the right. Be sure to drop a bit of altitude as you go until you're about level with the hallways. You may be wondering, why don't we just go right? Let's find out. As you can see, there are many invisible walls. And, uh, I guess you can actually do that if you want. Let's try that again. You must be careful, because if you fly too close to the sun, you might just lose your wings. So looking ahead, you'll see where the tank spawns in this level normally. And looking behind, you can see where the CPU core would be if you were in this level normally. So 
So continuing forward, you'll see that we can't enter this room. We'll need to sword fly around it. Keep going until you see some hill-like structures on the left where you can run. Once there, cross over to the other side. You may encounter some turn back countdowns, but don't worry, they will go away soon. Search for an opening to get to the roof of the tunnel system. Once you're in there, you can search around until you find another ceiling that you can stand on. And from there, drop into the map proper. Unfortunately, the wall behind us seems to be indestructible. I haven't yet found a way in there, and thus have not been able to get into the tank room itself, or back to the CPU core. From here, we can continue in the map as you normally would, except with less tanks. And another wall. At least this one is visible. And breakable. And that's it! You've reached the end of Utopia. Take some time to celebrate. Well, it doesn't look like our ride's coming, so nothing left to do but to fly ourselves off into the horizon. Thanks to Bomb to Zero for posting a video showing the out-of-bounds that I used early on. And to my map exploration buddy Waffles, who suggested the project of trying to explore Utopia. And one last wall. Can't beat them all. Until next time, good luck exploring.